Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete all that portions for the profile. Right now you can edit this profile, you can update this profile, how you can show some of the notification. I hope it's very much clear to you. Now in this video, I want to discuss about another most important part as a change password option. Okay, first of all, in our menu, into this menu here, I want to do, I want to add one of the, one of the menu link. So that is our my wallet. So that is in our header, right? Let's do that work. First of all, I want to create another view page. Right now, we don't need this locking blade. Also, we don't need this. If you go to our header, that is in our resources, into the resources view, and then body, and that is our header, right? So into this header area, like right now, I want to replace it, my wallet to the change password. Change password. Okay, name it as a change password. So for the change password, first of all, we have to create on the view page, right? So now simply I want to do in here, I want to put on the another route name. That will be the route, route, I put that route name, that will be the change, change, um, and then the password. Okay, change password. Now I want to do, I want to create that route. So if you want to create it, now go to our web, into this web, after this, that will be on the get method, better I copy it and then I paste it. So if that is it, everything I want to create it in our admin controller, I have already created that group route, which is totally fine. I name it as a change password, so that that will be as a change password, our route name, our URL, I name it as a change and then the password. Okay, then that will be the change password. I want to create one of the function. Okay, here I want to create another method. I name it as a change, change, change password. Okay, I name it as a change password. Now we have to create that change password method in our admin controller. Now go to our admin controller here after this. Okay, after this I want to do, I want to create another new one that will be the public and then function and our method name will be as a change password. Great. And also I will make it as a and method. So that is our and method. And into the change password, I only want to do and return one of the page. Okay, so then that will be the return one of the view page. So that is our return view. You can see friend how much easy step by step. I hope everything is very clear to you. Now in our admin folder, I want to create another new file as admin uh, change password. What our name actually choose? I simply load, loaded one of the view page as a admin change password. So now we have to create that admin change password in our admin folder. So if you want to choose another folder, you can actually choose it. Right now I want to, do, I want to take it in our admin. Like right now, that is our admin folder. Into this admin folder, I want to create on the new file. And now I just simply click as a save as. And now, sorry, here, right now I name it. So that will be the admin chase password dot blade dot php. Okay, simply created that page. So that page will be just like our edit. Okay, that means the profile edit page. Into the profile edit page here, you can see there's some of the input field. We will need actually the three input field. That will be just like that same here. Simply I copy that admin profile edit. I copy everything from this position. And now in our admin change password here, I paste it. Here we don't need any script because there have no images. I simply remove that script. And also our form submitted will be needed. And also for the images I have already before tech two. Right now we don't need this. I simply remove it. And then better that is a old, but I want to do it simply remove everything i only want to take one okay first of all i have to take one our value will be as a change password i make it as a change change password okay i make it as a change password there is only one input field and also from here i do not upload any images for the reasons multi-part form data will be not needed but our csrf token will be needed okay and also we don't need any check query i simply remove it then that will be as a change password page. A change password page. Great. So friend, that page will be now loaded. Let's check this out. Click as a save all. And now if you go, now refresh it. Now if you go to our Kazi, yeah, you can see now there is a new menu as a change password. If you click as a change password, mm, there is edit data in our page, maybe here I have actually used that some of the value you can see I have already used some of the value right now we don't need any value I simply remove it 
for the reasons it's actually getting that error because it's not getting any variable now i simply refresh it again yeah you can see it's now successfully updated as a change password page it is a name as a change password so for the change password we need actually three field right was the old password new password and then confirm password so now i want to do and to update it like here i name it that will be as the old okay old password so that will be the old password which is totally fine and then in our input field name input field name i name it okay i name it as a old password okay that will be the old password and type type will be that is one of the password type for the reason here i make it as a type will be as a password okay password so i name it as a password which is totally fine and also id id make it, i make it as a on the password okay i make it as a old password password blue o r d great and so here you know the input field i simply name of the name our control that is our one of the class and type will be as a password type and id i name it as a old password great now i want to take another two so another two and then another one perfect so now another one will be as a new password so that will be the new password and for the new password i want to do i want to name it i name it as a new password okay, i name it as a new password our type will be the same our type will be as a password type okay and id id i make it as a um, same name as a new password great now that is our um, new one great so now there is a name and then type and then id great and also another one that will be as a confirm password i make it as a confirm okay confirm password so for the confirm password here i want to do and do add that our field name our field name i name it as a confirm confirm underscore password okay password great so there is a confirm password i want to put that id as a confirm password our type will be as a password great now if you click as a save all now if you go now refresh it Hmm, perfect now that is our old password new password and then the confirm password and then the change password that is one of the submit type here all now we have to also work uh, like here after that okay after that better i want to put some of the bracket i use some of the bracket and also want to I use another bracket now if you click on the save all now that should be get some of the space refresh it hmm, you can see it's now look perfect now that is our one of the form right when you submit it that is one of the form as a post method which is totally fine because that will be one of the post method because from here i want to update that data right then i want to do and to create another route for this and that route i name it as a update password okay update password i simply name it as update password so that type of one of the route now we have to create and also that will be one of the post method and then csrf token is also here now i want to do and to create it Go to our web i want to better copy it and then after that sorry after that i want to paste it so that will be on the post method and our name our name will be as a update password so that will be as a update password i name it as a update and then the password and i make it as a update password okay then there will be the update password so this type of one of the update password method now i want to create in our admin controller right so now if you go to our admin controller into this admin controller i want to create another new one then that will be as a public public and then the function and then our method name as an update password and that is one of the post method for the reasons here also you have to pass that request i want to end it i have to pass that request and then the dollar request right so then the dollar request perfect perfect so friend i hope it's very clear to you so right now we successfully design our page and also we successfully create another route and we successfully create one of the method so in our next video i also want to do want to add some of the validation for this i want to work in our particular that method area so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video